But here we are. Hi guys, Richard and Daryl here. Um, Daryl's here for a side commentary and witty banter. Nice. So I have been a PV fan for a very, very long time, ever since I really got into gear and started learning what good gear was. And uh, Daryl probably less so. Yeah. I mean, I, I like the way PVs are. I mean, you've, you've used them, so I've basically evolved around the PV sound. Oh, I got a PV buck here. That's Hartley PV right there. Um, so, PV was a true, I guess still is, a true American uh, amp and guitar and everything musical manufacturing company. But recently they've had some hard times and had to close down a few of their plants. And one of them is Plant 3 in Meridian, Mississippi. And this plant uh, just has acres and acres of stuff within it. Old vintage PV stuff from, uh, you know, the 60s forward. Pretty freaking cool. Mm -hmm. And I'm in this group on Facebook called the PV Cult. And there is a gentleman in there named Derek Cook who is he has been tasked with going through this plant and selling off everything. And I wanted to see if there was anything I could get from this place because to me it's a historical plant, you know, Plant 3 is one of the original PV plants and over in Meridian, Mississippi, and I even told him maybe I could come pick it up, but he was like, I'd already packed it up. He got this thing packed up quick. But uh, today I want to talk about my little piece of PV history and uh, I guess, you know, basically it answers the question how I got it. I was in mm -hmm. a Facebook Facebook thing. I saw pieces of this pop up. This is why it's in two pieces. And I contacted the gentleman, Derek, and he was able to pull this together for me and ship it to me. And I live, I don't know, how, how far do we live from Mississippi? Like a few hours? Like three hours? About at least uh, two, three light years. Yeah, pretty close. Uh, <laughs> right here on the Gulf Coast. So, you guys know I am a huge PV Rotor fan. I'll put up some pictures of the two I have. Here, 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 here. Well, when these pictures, well, specifically the picture of this body came up, I knew I had to get it. I haven't opened these yet. These are just how they were mailed to me. It's gonna be nice. I'll open it back up in case. Yeah, it's called male. Why isn't it called fem female? <laughs> it's got so much of stuff. Like I was expecting it just to be just a straight, you know, neck. So this is a PV rotor neck. So you guys know how much I like my rotors. This is from the EXP version. He didn't have any necks for the deluxe version that this body actually is. But uh, still pretty stoked. It's not completely finished, I don't think. Might be. It's very raw looking. But again, these are just what they had around the factory. So, it's kind of cool that they had these at all. I don't know mm -hmm. how well you guys can see that. But these have been sitting in there. They didn't make very many PV rotors, so to be able to get actual parts of one is incredible. And he had a stack about this high of these bodies, like five or six of them. So I was pretty excited to get one. You know what the hardest color to find the PV rotor in is? White? Yep. You do know. No, I don't. I was just guessing. The next one is going to be blue. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the hardest color out of colors they actually made was white. Well, are we talking about like hard, like as if like you know, hardcore is going to be awesome, or hard as in like I can't find it, it's a gym one and, one and done? Yes. Difficult to find. <laughs> The actual reason why you're telling me this. Yeah. So this is an unfinished body. So this is why it's kind of dirty looking. But it's been sitting in a factory for years. So this body, they've carved the bevel into it. They've got it primered, but they don't have it finished, painted, and cleared. That's going to be up to me. Derek is actually looking for a set of the pickups that are supposed to go in this guitar but I think I'm gonna go white with it. You know? mm -hmm. I feel like it was destined to be white and it's mine, so I don't know, black binding would look better on a white body. I'll think about it. But honestly, I mean, since you're basically getting the body already be not finished, you know, it, this is almost the same way as they would be doing it in the factory. So, I mean, yeah, at this point now, it's the PV Custom Shop. Yeah, I mean, that's exactly right. Yeah, he actually found 
this neck and I asked him to fit the to see if the EXP neck would fit like I asked him to specifically take the neck and put it in the neck joint and see if it would fit and he did that for me and it does so um, obviously it looks like we're gonna have to go with the Floyd Rose they've got inserts for Black Floyd so we might do that but really the guitars here you know mm -hmm. it just needs a lot of finishing work and TLC yeah, you're going to be basically the, the finishing guy for the PV factory. Yeah, so this will be the third road around, which I think is, is pretty freaking cool. Now, it's sad to me that uh, PV is closing down plants and stuff like that because it's usually a red flag. It usually means a business is going under, mm -hmm. you know. I'm sure that they still do manufacturing overseas. And because this man, Mr. Hartley PV, is no longer running everything for various reasons, or one specific one. Um, <laughs> that's, that's I think, why they're kind of having to uh, liquidate a bunch of assets, which uh, there is an auction going on right now. You can search around the internet and find it for uh, $12 million worth of PV assets, and that includes the machines they use to make guitar bodies and stuff like that, which is very, very cool. Yeah. I mean, it sucks, but it's also very cool. <laughs> yeah. So. I just wanted to share with you guys my piece of PV history, and Daryl was here, so I wanted to include him in this uh, video. And uh, these have just been sitting around a factory for like 10 years or 15 years or so, about, about 15 years, because the rotor came out in 2004, so it had to be wow. at least at least that that much. So, yeah, but um, they're selling a lot more stuff than this guy's. Like they have PV Patriots, uh, T40s, T60s. Um, all kinds of like tons of Black Widows too, like tons really? of the speakers in all sizes. They even have the Black Widow tins that they did for a while where they put the magnets for the 12s and 15s on them. So the magnets are the same size as the tin. Like wow. it's crazy huge. Yeah, a lot of cool stuff. Huh. Figure. So eventually, I'm not going to make any promises because I have a lot to do first, but eventually this is going to get done. And uh, Gosh, I'm going to have to make it white. It's got to be white. I don't know. Drop a color in the comments. What color would you make this guy? Yeah. Yeah, let's let, let's let people choose to see what, uh, what works. Yeah, it's still going to be white, but what color would you make? <laughs> but, I mean, you could choose the, the white that it's going to be. Yeah. 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 Well, I mean, you could choose between <laughs> white white and maybe some other kinds of whites arctic white but just know it's going to be white yeah polar white yeah if you say blue then we're going to change it to, to white antarctic white yeah we also found a really cool pawn shop find today that i'll be talking about in an upcoming video yeah that's so cool and daryl got a gun yep Daryl's got a, a gun, gun. So it's, a, it's an airsoft weapon yep. and uh this he bought this one specifically because he thought it would make a good jugs and hot pants villain gun yeah, so this will be really cool. And, uh, keep your eyes open for J and H, uh, and hopefully we'll get on that as well. We got a lot of things coming up. All right, guys, thanks for watching, <clears throat> and we'll see you next time. Boom! Smash that like button. <laughs> smash that subscribe button. Just smash your computer all together. <laughs> Think I'll smash your girlfriend.